Happy Yoon's Day, guys. Uh, little Napoleon's here with that same little baby again. I'm going to try and do a little better at getting footage underneath Napoleon and determining whether Napoleon is a boy or a girl. It sure seems like he's a she, and by a she I mean a mama. Um, still has that same walk. I call that a John Wayne walk. It's just so funny, and I always figured uh, he was a boy doing that walk. What you doing, Napoleon? Hi there. That baby is just so adorable. Such dark colors. Beautiful face. I hope the baby gets a little closer right where the baby is right now. I just saw a moon pie under there. So where the skunk moved off to, I am not sure. Hi, Napoleon. You know, I think of all the times I've done videos over here with Napoleon, and even that time Napoleon stood up and uh, kind of grabbed my glove and I lifted Napoleon up in the air, I don't remember uh, finding out Napoleon's sex. But uh, look at this, a baby's with Napoleon again. I guess it's unheard of, not completely unheard of, but it's very, very rare for a male to take over any, uh, any of the uh, rearing activities as a raccoon. Yeah guys, uh, I'm seeing a teat under there. And it's partially swollen. So Napoleon is a girl. Are we gonna have to change the name to uh, Napoleon or Josephine? Okay, I'm going to let you guys uh, vote on that. Do we keep Little Napoleon as the name just for humor's sake? Uh, do we change it to Napoleon? Or do we uh, switch it to Josephine? Well, come on, little baby. Come on, I got some peanuts for you. There you go. You want some cookie? You want some cookie? <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying Napoleon for now because that's all I know. <laughs> but yeah, Napoleon is a girl. Uh, I got it big time wrong. <laughs> big time wrong. Yeah, so guys, uh, I've been in the woods twice today already. I was home again with another dentist appointment, uh, part three. I got my crown put in today from my root canal way back. And I saw raccoons up in the trees, but none would come down by me today. And I don't know if it's because I was there a little earlier than usual, but uh, I was a little disappointed. I couldn't tell who it was up in the tree. I didn't see Cutie. And I waited and I waited. I took the balls with me again. I was hoping to play some games. And I'm curious if um, maybe they're going to start transitioning to later and later uh, coming out at night because the, the need for uh, being out during the daytime for getting calories is just lessening. I'd say we're about an hour before sunset right now. Uh, Napoleon has always been one to, to show up early. So, not too unusual to see Napoleon here this time of day. But, um, I don't know. It, those heavy rains, I'm curious if that had anything to do with them not wanting to come down today, too. Maybe there was just so many worms and stuff that came to the surface after that heavy rain yesterday that got me soaked. That they, uh, just engorged themselves on all that high-protein worms. Okay, uh, Moon Pie is in the group with Napoleon... And the baby, look at that, just squeezed itself out. Isn't that something how they all just get along? <laughs> and I hope uh, Napoleon is good and doesn't get Moon Pie to spray with me this close. So Moon Pie, yeah, shows up around the same time every day too, uh, getting that dog food. I always have dog food here in case uh, someone's extra hung hungry during uh, this baby season. There you go, mama. 
<laughs> Mama Napoleon, it is weird saying that. <laughs> Have yourself a cookie. You earned it. You got a beautiful baby. And just one. I'm uh, curious if there was more in the beginning and something went wrong. That baby's a really good size. Uh, Napoleon certainly waited a while to let that uh, baby appear. Look at that baby's trying to steal the cookie from Mama. Mama, I can't even say it. It's still in my head, Napoleon is a boy. And a naughty boy. Well, Napoleon's being really good though. Coming up to me and being very polite. Oh, look at baby got a little piece of cookie. Well, here comes Moon Pie. I think Moon Pie wants some cookie too. Okay, Moon Pie. There you go. Oh, good. Moon Pie's having some cookie too. What are you doing, Napoleon? Playing in the bird bath? What's wrong, Mama? What's wrong? I think uh, Napoleon was doing a little bit of the cutie right there. Going, I want a whole cookie. What's these pieces all about? And that might be my last cookie, too. I think it is. So I don't know if you guys could see with any of my camera views what I saw underneath. Uh, it, unlike Cutie and unlike Moira, unlike Hazel, they all their teats are really swollen and showing. The best I could tell is just the back ones really seem to be protruded and Napoleon's very furry on the underside. And so maybe that's why I just wasn't picking up on any clues. So Napoleon is just inches from me right now and being pretty good, pretty good. And you would think with the baby here, it would be opposite. She'd be extra protective, but maybe I was seeing her ornery during her pregnant phase. Mama, that's the last of the cookie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to eat peanuts. Oh, oh wait. Wait, there's one more cookie in here. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. You know, we need to give some to that cute baby of yours. <laughs> gonna follow mama well today my uh, backpack finally dried out from the deluge yesterday you know you heard me uh, screaming in the video at cutie and those babies get up into your shelter take shelter here comes a storm right after that torrential downpours and I thought to myself I bet you it's a pop-up shower and it's gonna be over with in five minutes and so the same tree she went up I, uh, I went on the back end out of the wind, I put the backpack over my head and tried to wait it out and then I realized, oh my goodness, my phone's starting to get wet. So I opened up my backpack, I took out a plastic bag that I had cookies in and I wrapped my phone in that, put it back in my pocket. But then, no kidding, I, just the water was pouring down the sides of me. It started uh, going into my pocket with that bag and I thought, I don't know how good that bag is. So I took my phone, I put it in the uh, dog food container, the plastic jug, and I headed for another tree 
that had uh, more of an angle and I went underneath that uh, the dry side and that was a little bit better and I thought I'm just gonna wait it out no kidding it was 20 20 to 30 minutes I stood there and I can uh, hear my phone vibrating with my wife trying to contact me to see if I was okay and I thought I forget it I'm as soaked as I am I'm just gonna walk home in the rain so I put on my backpack and I, um, <laughs> I walked through the neighborhood soaking wet, probably with neighbors looking out. And our yards just had giant puddles in it. Um, oh my goodness, I can't even imagine how many inches came down. It was probably 40 straight minutes of uh, real heavy rain. And my wife said she saw hail. When I was in the woods, I didn't notice any hail. So I got a lot of loose peanuts that I tossed in that water and Napoleon's reaching on the bottom and finding all the peanuts. So getting a bath and uh, a meal at the same time, that's a pretty good deal. Get that uh, fur on your belly nice and wet, Napoleon, so that your nipples show really good. Baby, are you going to fit into the bath too? Why don't you squeeze in there with Mama? Oh, you're so cute. Look at that dark fur on you. This is going to be a dark one. So going forward, I'm trying to think, <laughs> what do I do when I want to give a raccoon a name? Um, is Tiny Tim <laughs> a boy? I don't know. It's not that easy to see. It really isn't. It's tough. Okay. See, I saw that nipple on the right side right there. Um, I might have to come up with a contraption, uh, some sort of a mirror I could put, put down on the ground or, uh, uh, find ways for them to stand better. I did that one challenge where I had them come up high. Boy, her nipple's showing real good right now. Um, where Gertie Monster came up and I was underneath her actually. She was above me and I could see. Uh, someone said you gotta just look for, uh, dingleberries in the back. But they're furry animals. You can't always tell. So I've been making the mistake of judging them by their personalities. Uh, using probably human stereotypes of what I think a boy should act like and a girl should act like. And that that's on me. That's my fault. And so I had it completely wrong with Napoleon. And boy, has this been screwing with my head. When you're just completely convinced of one thing and you find out it's the opposite. Keep trying to show that nipple to you guys right there. Yep, Napoleon has teats. I have to say though, uh, Napoleon's demeanor is very nice uh, since she's brought her baby. Uh, this is some of the closest footage I've gotten to her, um, getting that camera right up in her face. You know, there was one time at the doorway, um, it was when there was snow on the ground I think, and I was fixing that uh, squirrel house for her up in the tree, that she took cookies out of my hands like three times, really nice. And I was real shocked by how uh, beautiful she was being that day. And I thought it had something to do with me putting the ladder up and seeing her in that squirrel house in a real vulnerable position that she just knew I was helping. But then uh, it wasn't long after that her, her classic grumpy attitude returned. So, okay guys, I'm going to say Happy Yoon's Day. Uh, just an update on Napoleon or Napoleon or Josephine. I'm going to let you guys steer me in the right direction for uh, her name. Now that we know it is a her. Um, 
I'm real confident now, having uh, seen uh, those teats underneath really good, that indeed she is a mom, and that is her baby. And holy cow, <laughs> this grumpy girl has had me confused for the longest time. All right, bye guys.